Cindy Home Store. It is so nice to be on our back porch again with Cindy Deering of Cindy's Choice. You're looking very springy this morning. Oh, thank you so much, Julie. It is springtime, and I was hoping these colors would help wake me up well, this morning. <laughs> you said I need something to kind of pick me up, and I thought, no, you don't, Cindy. You're the one always picking other people up. You've had a pretty busy week. You just got back from a um, finally being able to give some money that you've been raising for yes, Grace Baptist. And uh, yes, that and that was so special. We, um, you know, the tornadoes were just a year ago, Julie. And we jumped right out there and pulled off a tornado campaign, tornado re relief campaign. And we were able to go visit Grace Baptist Academy. And we got to uh, present a check to Headmaster Pollock over there. And it was so gracious of Councilman Ledford. He's the councilman for District 4, the East Brainerd area. He showed up as well, and we were happy to share. He's been able to pass some really great legislation that is helping with permitting costs in that area which is huge right. with all the rebuilding and so forth like right. that but we were able to uh, give them a check for two thousand dollars and it's going toward i think it's called the bridges of hope that's for their scholarship fund because all those families it's not just the uh, school that right. was almost flattened but all those families were affected as well and you know it's so stark because it has been a year and you sadly can forget a lot uh, in the course of a year and you can drive parts of East Brainerd and forget that that tornado came through but you turn off a gun barrel road onto Shalliford and go down just a little way and you're kind of taken aback yes. at just how obvious the damage still is it's still very evident and you almost feel I almost feel a little guilty when I go over there cause I'm, oh shoot yes. I forgot right and I'm like, oh my goodness, there's a lot of families still dealing with a lot of recovery over there. So you talk about we were able to do this and we were able to do that. Who was the we? Thank you, Julie. Well, I had some great support with this. Of course, part of the we are the businesses you find at cindyschoice.com. That's a huge part of the we because I couldn't get out and serve the community if not for those integrity-centric small businesses that support what I do. So please utilize them when you can because that's why I get to get out and do these things. But I also had some great support from some B&I friends, uh, Business Networking International. They, uh, Some of my friends there stepped up. Pete Lane, I want to give him a shout out at the Lowe's on Gun Barrel. He always steps up and supports the Cindy's Choice initiatives and so forth like that. And again, uh, Councilman Ledford, I appreciated that. I always appreciate his support too. Well, and, and uh, you know, after all these years, I still can sometimes get a little bit um, confused about the order of things within Cindy's Choice. It's a perfect time for you to set the record straight. But you talk about how they're able to kind of get behind and support what you're wanting to do. Part of it, though, is that they're getting to say what they want to do, right, Cindy? That they come yeah. on to say, this means a lot to me. Exactly. Well, they see what I'm doing, and that you that's exactly right. They say, like, Cindy, I want to support what you're supporting. But the beauty of it is, Julie, you know a lot of business owners. Sure. Most of our business owners are more operational, and that's what it takes for them to be successful. They have a lot of responsibility. They have a lot coming out of them and are coming at them, and they need to be very operational. And it's hard to switch gears to yeah. be relational, but it doesn't mean you don't care. They're just demonstrating how much they care in a different way than someone like me right? <laughs> that's out there leading with love and serving the community, but I'm doing it on their behalf. Right. It, it's like, you know, I'm, I'm their marketing representative. It's just a shared platform because we can do so much more together. And you know, we're getting to demonstrate that, and it's it's really, really cool. So when people see you and they see your smile and they think, okay, I think I want to find out how I can be a part of what all she's doing, does it begin by going on your website? Do they call you? What do they do? Yes, call me. All the information is there. I'm all over social media. And, uh, yeah, just reach out, get more information. Just go like the Cindy's Choice page. Start following and watching and seeing what we're doing. I'm being very selective and very protective about you know building really yeah, common minded common gold people and again like a lot of your business owners they don't need a relational side they're good at getting out and coming on with you Julie mm -hmm. and so forth like that but a lot of them don't they don't have that personality but it doesn't mean they still don't care right and they still don't want to support the community I, I but just you sure to, do yeah I, <laughs> It's my passion. It's my dream. It's my destiny. So here's so. here's how you can get in touch with her. Uh, it's cindyschoice.com. That's the website. If you'll simply go on there, you can see about the other organizations that are a part of hers. Uh, see how you can join in and get that phone number where you can call her and begin the conversation. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you always, Julie.
Accurate forecasts matter.